For years on Local 12, when there's a risk for thunderstorms or severe storms, we've been categorizing that risk as a risk for general thunderstorms, a slight risk for severe storms, a moderate risk for severe storms, or a high risk for severe storms. Late last year, the Storm Prediction Center added two new categories, enhanced and marginal, to describe the threat for severe weather. Going forward, you'll see the Weather Authority describe the threat for thunderstorms or severe storms under one of these categories. When we forecast general thunderstorms, no severe thunderstorms are expected, but some storms may produce frequent lightning, some flooding, winds up to 40 miles an hour, or small hail. A marginal risk includes a threat for isolated severe storms. These severe storms don't last more than an hour and are limited in coverage and intensity. Winds with the strongest storms are typically 40 to 60 miles an hour. Hail may be as large as quarters and the tornado threat is relatively low. Next is a slight risk for severe storms. During a slight risk, scattered severe storms are forecast. These severe storms are short-lived and not widespread. The strongest storms often produce damaging winds, hail up to the size of hen eggs, and may produce a couple of tornadoes. An enhanced risk for severe storms means there will be numerous severe storms that are more persistent and widespread. Some storms may be intense. There will be several reports of damaging winds, large hail, and up to a few tornadoes may be confirmed. A moderate risk for severe storms means that severe storms are likely. Severe storms will be long-lived, widespread, and intense. Damaging winds are likely with the strongest storms. Hail is often large and destructive. The strong storms in our area will be rotating and may produce strong tornadoes. A high risk for severe storms means that a severe weather or tornado outbreak is likely. Severe storms will be widespread and will be intense. A derecho, a long-lived complex of storms producing damaging winds, is possible. Hail will be large and may be very large. Tornadoes that develop may be strong or violent. March 2, 2012 was a high-risk day in the tri-state. 11 people died as a result of the tornado outbreak. Damage was widespread in communities like Holton, Piner, and Moscow. On Local 12, we will show you a map like this one, detailing the threat for severe storms where you live. When there is a risk for severe storms, it's important to know where you live, when severe weather is expected, and where severe weather is expected. Knowing this information is critical to keeping you and your family safe. I'm meteorologist Scott Dimmick, Local 12 News.